dear students today i am explaining a new system for you from the topic phase equilibrium that is the phenol water system whenever equal proportions of the phenol and water taken then what will happen the concentration of phenol goes into the water this is a water layer this is phenol layer these are the two partially miscible liquids that is water and phenol and how it this partial miscibility of water and phenol is affected that we have to see as temperature increases then what will happen the solubility of the phenol in water and water in phenol increases at the ordinary temperature there is a, a particular solubility of phenol in water and water in phenol means what phenol and water these are the two solutions or the liquids <coughs> which showing the partial miscibility with each other whenever we are taking the equal concentrations or equal proportions of the phenol and water say 50 ml phenol and 50 ml water shake it vigorously in a beaker keep it on a stable ground for some time after some time what happens some part of the water become soluble into the phenol and some part of the phenol or some quantity of the phenol becomes soluble in the water layer at the ordinary temperature means they are sol partially miscible with each other this pair is called the conjugate pair or the conjugate layers this this solubility of the partially miscible liquid is affected by the temperature whenever temperature is given to the given system then what will happen as temperature increases the solubility of phenol in water and water in phenol increases as temperature increases and at a particular upper temperature then that of the ordinary temperature that are two partially miscible liquids with the two separate layers they become completely miscible with each other they are merging with each other and forming a clear solution a point of temperature at which these two partially miscible partially miscible liquids become completely miscible that point of temperature is called the upper critical solution temperature or the upper consolute temperature that we have to see with the help of diagram so at the point a there is a ordinary composition of phenol in water at this point on the x axis we have taken the percent by weight of phenol on y axis we have taken the temperature in degree celsius at the point a there is a combination of or there is a concentration composition of phenol and water at this side at the point 0 the concentration of phenol is 0 at this point the concentration of phenol is 
What about the water? Water is 100% at this point 0 and at this point water is 0%. Means in this at the point A ordinary temperature there is more concentration of water and little concentration of phenol in that mixture. Means a solution partially mixed solution of phenol in water is present at the point A. From point A to point up to this point, the concentration of phenol in water layer goes on increasing as temperature increases. Means when temperature is increases, then at the same time concentration of phenol in water goes on increasing. And at a upper particular point, the two layers becomes miscible with each other. This left hand curve is regarding the concentration of phenol in water on the left hand side. What about this curve? This is the curve at the point B the concentration of phenol is more and the concentration of water is less. Means at this point a solution of Water in phenol is present. As temperature increases along this curve, what happens? The composition of water, that is the percentage of water in phenol goes on increasing as temperature increases. Means As temperature increases, as temperature increases, the concentration of phenol in water along this side and concentration of water in phenol along this side increases as temperature increases. And at the upper temperature, that two layers are forming a single layer or that two partially miscible liquids becomes completely miscible at this point. That point is called the upper critical solution temperature or the upper consolute temperature. The, the temperature at this point in the phenol water system is 66 degrees Celsius and the composition of phenol is 34 percent. What about the condition of this phenol water system above the 66 degrees Celsius? Above the temperature 66 degrees Celsius, there is a one layer only. Means that two partially miscible liquids are forming a single layer. What about the phenol water system below the curve? Below the curve, there are two layers of the different compositions with each other. At the point X, it represents the concentration of phenol in water at the point X. Point Y represent the concentration of water in phenol at the point Y. These two points are connected by a line that line is called tie line. Means below 66 degrees Celsius within a curve these two partially miscible liquids are in, in the form of two layers. Then what about the below 66 degrees Celsius and outside the curve? For example, at point A, at the point A, the solution, unsaturated solution of phenol in water is present. And at the point B, on the right hand side, it is a unsaturated solution of water in phenol. Means as temperature increases, the solubility of the partially miscible liquids in this case the phenol water system shows the more solubility with the increase of temperature. And at a particular temperature, that two layers becomes miscible completely. That temperature is called the upper consulate temperature. This is the... Then 
we will see in the with the help of PPTs. Phenol water are mixed in equal proportions, forming the two layers. At a given temperature, the composition of these layers is fixed. When the system is warmed, the amount of phenol in water layer increases as well as the amount of water in phenol layer increases. At the upper temperature at which the composition of both the layers become the same and thus they become completely miscible, that temperature is called upper consolidate temperature. The upper temperature at which phenol and water become completely miscible is 66 degrees Celsius and the composition, composition of phenol by weight is 34%. Phenol water system has an upper critical solution temperature that is 66 degrees Celsius. Whenever a graph is plotted between the temperature and percentage by weight of phenol, a parabolic curve is obtained as shown in figure. Alternatively, the same curve is obtained if solution of phenol at different compositions are prepared and the temperature at which the two liquids become completely miscible is determined in each case. Above 66 degrees Celsius, phenol and water are completely miscible. Within a parabola, there are two layers in equilibrium. The point X and Y give the composition of the two layers. The line joining XY is called a tie line. The temperature below 66 degrees Celsius, but outside the curve, there is a composition of unsaturated solution of phenol in water on left hand side, say point A, and unsaturated solution of water in phenol on right hand side, say point B. Then we have to see the regarding the impurities. Effect of impurities on critical solution temperature, that is the consulate temperature. Impurities alters the consulate temperature of a system. Case first, hydrocarbons are soluble in phenol only. When some hydrocarbons are added in phenol water system, we find that consulate temperature is raised from 66 degrees Celsius to 68.4 degrees Celsius. Case 2, succinic acid is considerably soluble in both components of phenol water system. It lowers the consolute temperature of phenol water system. Case 3rd, salts are soluble in water but insoluble in organic solvent component. Raises the consolute temperature. However, the addition of lithium, lithium added to aniline water system decreases the consolute temperature because lithium added is partially ionic and partially covalent. It dissolves in aniline and water in small amount. Means how the impurities are affecting the consolate temperature or the critical solution temperature that we have to see. In the case first, whenever, whenever hydrocarbons are made soluble in the phenol water system, then hydrocarbons become soluble in only phenol and whenever impurities are soluble in only one of the pair or only one of the liquid, then the critical solution temperature or the consulate temperature increases. In the case second, whenever impurities as like the succinic acid is present in the phenol water system, then that succinic acid is soluble, being it is soluble in both the liquids, the consulate temperature is decreases or lowers. Case third, salts are soluble in water but insoluble in phenol or organic solvents. In this case, the consulate temperature is increases. Being the salts are soluble or impurities are soluble in one of the liquid. But 
addition of lithium iodide causes the increase in decrease in inst- decrease in consolidated temperature and why it is happen so because lithium iodide having a ionic as well as covalent bonding partially covalent bonding, bonding and partially ionic bonding in that structure in its structure at the same time lithium iodide shows the solubility up to certain extent or in a minimum uh, in a small quantity in the aniline water system means whenever lithium iodide is present in the form of impurities in the aniline water system then it lowers the or decreases the critical solution temperature or the consolidated temperature due to the their due to its solubility in both the liquids now i am explaining phenol water system in detail listen here this is a one of the example of the partially miscible liquids that is the solubility of partially miscible liquids how the solubility of the partially miscible liquids is affected or or affecting with the temperature that we have to see partially miscible liquids are that liquids which are showing the partial miscibility with each other for example take phenol 50 ml add to it 50 ml of the water then what will happen after vigorous shaking or vigorous shaking completely mixing and by keeping it on a st- stable ground for some time after some time what happens water layer some quantity of the water becomes soluble in the phenol layer and some part of the phenol or some quantity of the phenol becomes soluble into the water layer means at ordinary temperature some quantity of the phenol becomes soluble in the water at the same time some quantity of the water becomes soluble in the phenol after vigorously shaking with each other that two pairs are called the conjugate liquid pair means in this case phenol and water they are showing the partial miscibility or solubility with each other whenever the system is heated or start to warm it then what happens the solubility of the water into phenol and phenol into water start to increase as the temperature increases the solubility also increases and at a particular temperature that two liquids two liquid layers are become completely miscible with each other the point of temperature at which that two partially miscible liquids that is water and phenol become completely soluble with each other that point of temperature is called the upper critical solution temperature that is ucst upper critical solution temperature or the upper consolidated temperature means that is shown on the diagram here on this axis x axis we are shown here the percentage by weight of phenol and on y axis temperature in degree celsius is shown here at this point zero there is a zero percent of phenol and at this point there is a hundred percent of phenol means at this side there is a hundred percent phenol and at this side there is a zero percent phenol 
in the reverse water is 100 percent here and there is a zero percent water this half part of the graph this one it shows the effect of temperature on the solubility of the these two partially miscible liquids at the point a ordinary temperature there is some quantity of the phenol in water at the point a the quantity of water is more and the quantity of phenol is less but there is a partial miscibility at the point a as the temperature increases the solubility of the phenol increases means more and more phenol start to distribute into the water layer and at a particular temperature this solubility of the phenol in water goes on increasing as temperature increases and at a particular temperature that two layers or the, that two partially miscible liquids phenol and water they are forming a single layer that two immiscible liquids are become completely miscible with each other at a upper temperature from the ordinary temperature that point of temperature is called the upper consolate temperature or the upper critical solution temperature in this side at the point b the concentration of phenol is more and the concentration of water is less means at this stage the quantity of water is less in the phenol means a solution partially miscible solution is present here that is water in phenol type as the temperature increases what happens the solubility of the water or the percentage of water goes on increasing up to this point and at this point once again the two liquids that is phenol and water they are forming the single layer they are merging with each other and forming a single layer that point of temperature is called the upper critical solution temperature or the upper consolute temperature what happens about the that up, upper consolate temperature is 66 degrees celsius for the phenol water system means phenol water system in the phenol water system the two partially miscible liquids phenol and water they are showing the complete miscibility with each other at 66 degrees celsius what about the 66 degrees celsius there is a single layer a homogeneous layer of that two liquids is present on the upper part there is a single layer one layer in the within a curve or below the curve there are two layers with the different compositions with each other on this axis on this curve point x represent the concentration of phenol in water <coughs> on this x y point concentration of water or solubility of water in phenol is shown on the point y that two points are connected or joined with each other by a line that line is called the tie line what about the point a below the 66 degrees celsius outside the curve the liquid is a unsaturated liquid of the phenol in water at this case unsaturated solution of phenol in water type of solution is present at the point b on the right hand side there is a single phase in which unsaturated solution of water in phenol is present means in this case in the phenol water system as the temperature increases the solubility of the partially miscible liquids also increases and at a particular temperature for example 60 in the phenol water system at the 66 degrees celsius that two <coughs> partially miscible liquids 
become completely miscible that temperature is called the upper critical solution temperature the temperature is 66 degrees celsius at that point the percent by weight of phenol is 34 percent this is regarding the phenol water system effect of of impurities <coughs> Effect of impurities on <coughs> con solute temperature or the critical solution temperature and that is one and the same. Case first impurities are creating the impact on the con solute temperature. In the case first hydrocarbons. which are soluble in only in the phenols and the water layer they doesn't show in the solubility whenever the impurities of hydrocarbons are present in the phenol water system then the consulate temperature increases or the critical solution temperature increases in the phenol water system 66 degrees celsius is a ucst upper critical solution temperature whenever there is a presence of hydrocarbons as a impurity then this temperature raised up raised up increased up as 68.4 degrees celsius means whenever the impurity is soluble in one of the uh, partially miscible liquid then its consolidate temperature increases case second succinic acid is soluble in both the liquids in phenol as well as in water and whenever in that case the consulate temperature is decreases means whenever succinic acid like compounds are present as impurities and they are soluble in both the partially miscible liquids then consulate temperature decreases case third salts are soluble in water and due to that reason the consulate temperature raised but lithium added is a salt whenever it is added in the aniline water system then what happens the consulate temperature goes on decreasing being the lithium lithium added is showing a ionic bonding as well as the covalent bonding in it at the same time lithium added is soluble in both the liquids that is aniline and water and due to that reason it shows the decrease in consulate temperature then in the next video we will see the next system thank you